My name is Adwoa, and there are many different sides to me. What side do you know? What you're about to see and hear are some of the stories from my past. Now, a lot of you know me from doing hair. A lot of you know me from filming. But there's a lot about me that a lot of other people just don't know. One thing my mother always said, may she rest in peace, but one thing she always said to me was, if anyone's going to tell your story, you need to be the one to tell it. Why? Because no one can tell your story the way you can. Key word is your story. So there you have it. I am as well as you are about to step inside of my life. So without further ado, welcome to my world. Man, I hope I can pull this off. Well, I hope she can pull it off. Damn, why she hurry up and call me? This nigga gonna realize I don't came outside. Damn, what is E Blaze waiting on? <sighs> Come on, girl. There you go. Girl, what took you so long to call? Yeah. Yes, I'm outside now. I'm in the back. Waiting on you. He's upstairs in the bedroom. Come on now. Don't fuck this up. We have been through this too many times. This ain't your first time. Yes, I'm going to leave the back door open. Everything is where I said it was going to be. Yes. Didn't I just tell you I'm outside? I'm in the back of the house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the door unlocked. See, this is this is what's gonna happen, cause he's upstairs. But I'm um, I just told him I had to come downstairs to check on something. I'll go back upstairs with a drink or something. Yeah, girl, you know I'm, I'm gonna have that nigga knocked out. Come on now. You know how Diamond does. I'm gonna have that motherfucker knocked out, and then you come in and do what you have to do. It's the first room. When you come in, listen. I'm gonna leave the light on. As soon as you come in. You come in, right? You take a left. Listen, you're going to see a kitchen table, right? Take a left. Go straight down that hallway. We're going to be upstairs. Go straight down that hallway. Everything is in the left. In that left room, in that first room on the left, in the closet. Yes. No, we're not fucking with the safe. I don't even know the combination to the safe yet. The nigga hasn't even given me the combination to the safe yet. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Everything is in a duffel bag. It's a blue one. Drugs, money, everything is in there. Yes. Girl, no, he's not going to know anything about that we, we set him up. How is he going to know? Remember, I'm with him. So it's not even like he's going to hear anybody come in the house. Yes. Yes. You don't need to know the nigga name. You don't need to know what he look like. You don't need to know nothing. I'm going to text you the address to this nigga house, and you do what you have to do. Bring your gun just in case. You never know. Because you know I stay strapped. But you should be good. So what I'm going to do is, when I go back in the house, I'm going to turn on the radio downstairs. Actually, I'm going to turn on like a CD or something. Well, actually, his house is wired. So as soon as I put it on downstairs, you know, the speakers are going to be all through the house. I'm going to tell him that I'm trying to set the mode or something. Yeah. Yeah. He blazed. It's going to work out. Yeah. I'll probably spend the night over here, so don't call my phone. All right? Don't call my phone or, you know, none of that. I will speak to you tomorrow when I leave. Don't even text me because if shit goes wrong, then he's going to be looking through my phone. So don't even text me. Right. Now, I'm going to text your real number. This burnout phone that you're talking on, just throw that shit away. Yeah, just throw it away. I'm going to text your real number. Bitch, yes, it came up private. So even if he, if, if push comes to shove and this nigga looks through my fucking phone, it's going to show private. So it's just going to show that I had, you know, a private call. And that's all. Yeah. It's going to work out. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right. Don't be all loud either when you come in. Because I don't want that nigga to hear me. 
Bitch, I'm outside the house. I don't know if he's listening at the window. Shit, I'm taking a fucking chance too. Yes. Yeah. All right. Don't call me. I'll call you. Okay? I'm about to text you this nigga information right now. It's a whole lot of houses over here. Park down a fucking street though. Park like two blocks down. And then just, just walk up. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. Yes, girl. It's gonna work. It's gonna work, okay? Alright. You wasting time. Let me get back upstairs. You wasting time. Okay. Alright, bye. <sighs> okay, y'all. Now, this is the scenario. You guys heard me talking to E Blaze. What's hey, going to happen is. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right up. <sighs> now, that was close. Um, I'm going to have to make this fast. Anyway, um, what's happening is. I'm at this nigga house. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say it yet. But I'm at this nigga house, and my homegirl, E. Blaze, is about to come rob him. Scenario is, he's not even going to know that I set it up. Because, you know, I'm just going to open. Y'all heard what we were talking about. I'm going to leave the door open. She's going to get the duffel bag. She's going to take the whole duffel bag. Because, I mean, he's been out with me all day. So, when we came in, he didn't even look in that closet to see if anything was missing or anything. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play it off whenever he decides. I don't know when he's going to look in it. I don't, know, I don't even know if the nigga's going to tell me. That is missing. But I'm just going to definitely play it off. And he's not even going to know that I have something to do with it. Alright. So. Yeah. Y'all got to wish me luck man. This is like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And it's all unfolding while you guys are watching. So stay tuned. And I will definitely let you guys know how everything went down. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go back in the house.